Hey everybody, this is John Stoffer. I'm here to bring you a little tech tip from streamingteacher.com. Today we're talking about migrating from old versions of Mastercam up to new ones. And in this case, I'm talking about particularly old ones. See, the thing is that the migration wizard that's built into Mastercam only goes three versions back. And with the release of 2021, X9 is sunsetting. And that means there's no more support through maintenance. So a lot of people are updating up to 2021 and they need to get their files migrated from X9 up. But because it's more than three versions back, the migration wizard doesn't work with X9. So there's a few steps that we have to take in order to get those files moved up correctly. So the first thing we need to talk about is licensing. If you've been running X9, then you're either running on a HASP, which is an individual seat on a dongle, or you're running on a NetHASP where you have a server that's running all the licenses out to the computers. If you're running on a HASP, then you should be fine. The new HASPX software should install with Mastercam when you do your new version, so that should take care of itself. If you're running on a NetHASP, there's an extra step that we have to take care of. So the first thing is we're gonna open up File Explorer, and then we're gonna to go to the C drive. We'll go into Program Files. We're gonna go into the Mastercam version that you've been running, um, I don't have X9 on this computer, so I'm using 2020 as an example, but the folder structure is the same. So we'll go into the Mastercam version, open Mastercam, and in this list, we need to find a file called nethaspini. So we'll just scroll down until we find it. And here it is, nethaspini. So this is a file that we're actually going to directly copy up to our new version. So to do that, we're gonna right click, going to find copy and click that. Now we need to go back to program files, go into the newest version of Mastercam, open that top folder, and then in here we can just paste this in. You're going to get a warning saying that the destination already has a file with that name. Go ahead and replace that file. Once you've replaced that file, we're ready to talk about the other steps of migration. So you have two options. The first option is the most complete option. It's going to get all of your post files, including your machine definitions and control definitions, as well as your configuration files, tool libraries, and anything else you want. So to do that method, we're going to go to mastercam.com. Once you get to mastercam.com, go ahead and log in. So go ahead and log in here. And if you don't have a login, you can create one here. Keep in mind that the method that we're about to do will require you to have your mastercam linked to mastercam.com. If you need assistance with that, make sure to call your Mastercam reseller. Once you're logged in, we're going to go up to Downloads, Mastercam, and then here there's a drop down, and we need to choose a version of Mastercam that's going to bridge the gap between the versions that we're working on. If you were on X9 and you're going up to 2021, then you could choose 2018 because that version will be able to get the files out of X9 up to 2018, and 2021 will be able to go back and get the information from 2018. If you're farther back, then you need to pick a couple of additional versions in order to do this correctly. So choose the version that you need, and then scroll down and find the installation. Don't grab the patches, make sure you grab the full installation. Once you've installed that version of Mastercam, you can run through the migration process as normal so that you can get all the files migrated from that older version up to this in-between version. Once you've done that, you'll be able to go into your newest version of Mastercam and migrate from this in-between version up to the current version. Your second option is to have your Mastercam reseller help you. If you give them a call, they should be able to give you an updated post, machine definitions, and control definitions. However, they're not going to be able to move up your configuration file or your tool libraries. You'll have to rebuild your configuration file manually, but we can get your tool libraries updated by just opening a file. So to migrate up our tool library, we're going to go in our newest version of Mastercam to the Machine tab, grab a machine. I'll be using Mill in this case, but this works the same way for the other machine types. From here, I'm going to go to the Tool Manager, and I need to select a library to pull from. So we're going to select a different tool library. Here we need to back up a couple levels because we're in our current version. We need to go to the older one. So go to Public Documents, and then find the shared folder for the version that you're pulling from. We're going to go down to Mill, Tools, 
and then we gotta find the library we wanna pull. So in this case, I have one called new custom library. So I'm gonna highlight that and hit open. And down here, I now have the tools from that library. Make sure you have your filter turned off. So now we can select all of these by click one, shift, and click the bottom. We'll click up. Uh, I'm gonna click yes in this case. If you get that, go ahead and click yes. And now that's in our program. Now we need to save them to a new library. So down here, we'll come down to create a new tool library. In this screen, we need to back up to public documents. Go into your current version of Mastercam, mill, tools, and then we need to give it a name for this new library. So now I've given this a new name, we'll click save. Now we have a new library here. We'll select all the tools in this list and use the down arrow, and that's gonna add them into that library. When we click the green check, it saves it into that library. And now your tool library is moved up. If you have multiple libraries, you're going to have to do that for each library. Well, thanks for checking out our tech tip. Make sure to come on over to streamingteacher.com for more great Mastercam content like this.